In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the hardware configuration utility with your compact DAC device. For the sake of this video, I've, I'm using my 9185 chassis with a variety of different C-series modules. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up the hardware configuration utility on my laptop. Uh, you can see that it is automatically identified my 9185 since I've had it plugged in before. But if this is your first time connecting, you might have to select your computer and click plus to find that device or other devices on the network. You can also um, like find your device on the network by putting its IP address in or its host name, or you can simulate a device here as well. Um, once you have it connected though, you can click on the chassis and this is where you're gonna be able to set the device name, the host name. You can actually manually set a static IP address or set your, um, your network settings here. I can just quickly show uh, you go to configure network settings and that's this is where you could set the static uh, you could set it to GHCP only um, so that's where you could set all that up I'm just going to click cancel there and then you can also um, check your firmware version here check the status of your chassis it'll tell you the version of DACMX you're using DAC and also DACMX runtime uh, if you wanted to quickly get to the pinout you could just click there um, and uh, you can also get to the manual specifications, device routing, and everything else directly from the configuration utility. Um, also, you can reset and self-test uh, your chassis. And then this is a big one for the Ethernet chassis. You can also update the firmware. Always want to make sure you keep your firmware up to date. Very important. Uh, this is also where you can refresh and restart your chassis. And then for the modules, you can get to all the same important information, the context help, manuals, pin out and whatnot as well. Um, but one nice thing here that you can also do is run a test panel. So if I had a thermocouple plugged in there, I could just run this test panel and then immediately start taking thermocouple measurements, make sure everything's connected properly there. So now you know how to get the most out of the hardware configuration utility.